Hi guys, it's Belle here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone that is new. I'm so happy to be back again doing a voiceover. My voice is still a bit hoarse, but it's so much better. And we are back with a day in the life of today. We are with Vladislav Stroud. Um, the Sims say about his house, this mansion has been slowly built up over the town's history, plenty of space and spare coffins. Count Vladislaus Stroud IV is the latest descendant to occupy Stroud Mansion. His oddly similar looking line of ancestors has resided here since the founding of Forgotten Hollow. He has the master vampire aspiration, his traits are evil music lover and he's a loner so hello vlad what are you doing here oh we have a nice view from upstairs from your rather well decorated home i must say i really like this mansion and i can't wait to redecorate it in my series belgruz renovations very funny here you can see the glass and the plumber but you can't see Vlad because he's a vampire and Vlad can play the organ the pipe organ really 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 good because Vlad is the only one I can film I decided to take a look at the mansion and show you around if you haven't got the vampire pack I really love this pack, it's the first supernatural being that we have in The Sims 4. I want to talk a bit more about supernatural a bit later in this video, so stay with me. So I really wonder about Vlad, you see him around town, knocking at your door, you can see him if he turns, that he looks really disgusting, oh we have a neighbor here. I think is one of the Vlatoras. Um, so what bugs me here is the cell phone because I don't think vampires have one, at least not the ones that are a thousand of years old like Vlad is. And I was very excited when he went downstairs. I was really hoping to see some coffin action, but unfortunately there's only some pipe organ action. Let me have another zip of my very good sore throat tea. You know, the problem is if you have a sore throat, if you have problems, if you lose your voice, it is important that you talk and that you train your voice again. I was alone last week and um, so I couldn't really talk. And I'm very happy to do this voiceover. And I feel while I'm talking that it helps my voice although it might sound weird. So I believe this is Vlad's coffin. Um, I wanted him to go inside because I think it looks really good. The interaction. He also doesn't move as a bat, but I have to say, as I don't control the Sims in the series, he doesn't really have any vampire skills. Maybe if I leveled him up before that, it would have looked way better. So besides Vlad, playing the pipe organ flat things you can't hear him but I have to say I saw him once singing karaoke in a karaoke bar and he has such an amazing voice it was so funny I saw the Grim Reaper first and then Vlad and it was hilarious and Vlad is really such a good voice I love this part of the house I really do when you see from the balustrade you see downstairs but he's still in the seller playing his eerie music and I was so happy to find uh, some music with audio hero for this video as I always do and uh, I really hope you enjoy the a bit horror ambience that we have here so yeah um, he's going upstairs now and he's doing his typical round probably going to the bathroom going to the pipe organ 
washing the glass of water, etc., etc., etc. So I want to take the time to first thank you all for your support. The sub train that is going on at the moment for small creators is insane. I try and watch as much videos as I can to support you guys. And if I get a notification that you subbed to my channel, I sub back. But what I don't like is people that only sub for the sub and then when you sub to them, they unsub. So I um, just keep all the messages from people who sub to me. And from time to time, I look that over. And if I see that people unsub to my channel willingly, I will unsub to them too because... I normally not unsub from channels. I know sometimes YouTube does this, but um, I normally don't do it. But I don't like people who just try to, or um, not try to, just um, pretend to help others, pretend to support others. In reality, they don't. They don't give it. Yeah, you know what I want to say, but I don't swear on my channel. So they just subscribe that you subscribe back and then they unsubscribe. And this is really mean and... Yeah, well, I said this on Twitter already, so I'll stop here. So, um, while uh, I was uh, filming this and editing this, I was thinking a lot about what I read on The Sims community about there being some magical descriptions for objects on the laundry pack. Let's be honest, guys, laundry has nothing to do with magic. I'm so sorry, but it hasn't. So why is there some allegations and some uh, text that makes me think of Harry Potter so, so much? So I was thinking, because the Sims community said um, that it could be possible that there is some magical expansion pack coming this year. So I was thinking about that and I thought, what if um, The Sims made a sort of partnership with J.K. Rowling, who plays The Sims, we know that for a fact, and they're working on a Harry Potter pack together. Of course, Harry Potter is huge, it's immense, you can't really put that into a Sims expansion pack, but they could mix the supernatural creatures, like witches and werewolves and fairies, and... They could build a magical school a bit like Hogwarts and in this Hogwarts supernatural expansion pack there will be like a sort of school university for the supernatural creatures to go to and um, so you would have um, the witches included there and other creatures you would have the sort of university or school that you could go to and I know the Sims like to use older packs, but mix them with new ones. So the more I think about this idea, the more I love it. And I really hope that something like this is coming. So that not witches are just coming like that, but that these, all these allegations that they made in the descriptions about Harry Potter, that it has something to do with it. And... Um, I just um, checked the tweet about when uh, we discovered that J.K. Rowling was playing The Sims because it was on her laptop and she didn't really say anything about it and if she would work together with The Sims she wouldn't, she couldn't say anything so I don't know, it's all speculations and rumors but please let me know in the description down below what you think of my idea and I hope you like this A Day in the Life with Vlad. Um, I really like it. I enjoy it so much. I love Forgotten Hollow. I love the Vampires pack. And I hope to see you in my next video, guy, video. <laughs> my next video, guys. Thank you so much. Also, thank you so much for all your support. And I can't wait to record the next video. Thank you, guys. Have the most amazing weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.